Okay, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to talk about exposed victories, or in another way, we call it as causal comparative studies. The design is an exposed victo from Latin for after the fact. It indicates that exposed factor research is conducted after variation in the variable of interest has already been determined in the natural course of events. This method is sometimes called causal comparative because its purpose is to investigate cause and effect relationship between independent and dependent variables. Then, researchers use it in situations that do not permit the randomization and manipulation of variables characteristic of experimental research ya yeah? thus much of the basic rationale for experimental and exposed victor is the same they both investigate the relationship among variables and test hypotheses yeah the simil similarity of exposed victor and experimental and the uh, investigation relationship but the difference if in the experimental, uh, we can uh, use a manipulation and intervention, but in ex post facto or cause and effect relationship, we do not permit to give any intervention or any other, uh, what should we call, <laughs> Randomiz randomizations, yeah, okay. Non-experimental design that are used to investigate causal relationship. This is ex post facto, yeah. They examine, they as researchers, yeah. Researchers examine whether one or more pre-existing condition could possibly have caused subsequent differences in the group of subjects. And researchers attempt to discover whether differences between groups have resulted in an observed difference in the independent variable. Now let's go to the differences between experimental research and exposed victim. And the experimental, the investigator, could randomly assign subjects to two exam conditions that are identical. While in exposed victim, it does not provide the safeguards that are necessary for making strong inference about causal relationship. And experimental, a conclusion is drawn because of the control provided by the random assignment of groups to treatments and by the experimenter's direct manipulation of the independent variable. While in exposed facto, an investigator who finds a relationship between the variables in an exposed facto study has secure evidence only of some concomitant variations. Yeah, and then the third, some variables are manipulated and in the exposed facto, does not manipulate the variable. So we have three points highlight. The first is uh, 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 about the ran random assign, but in exposed vector you cannot make a randomization. And the second, um, we can make a manipulation, yeah, and we can draw the conclusion through the manipulation, but in exposed vector we cannot draw the conclusion using manipulation and in experimental some variables are manipulated exposed vector does not manipulate it means that in exposed vector the researchers just only analyze investigate the relationship between one variable to others without giving any intervention or manipulation yeah or in, in another word they just only uh, investigate what actually happened yeah, what actually happened from the fact it's so different with experimental okay now let's go to the steps in exposed vector study first if we would like to start our exposed vector study first we have to state the research problem of course in all of research design you have to state the research problem and then second select two or more groups to be compared third Determine whether your question requires a proactive or a retroactive design. Yeah. Uh, are your question requires a proactive or retroactive? Because exposed vector has two types. Yeah. Design, proactive and retroactive. What is the difference? 
Okay, proactive designs, the independence variables begin with subjects grouped on the basis of pre-existing independent variables. And the dependent variables test hypotheses concerning possible dependent variables. But in the retroactive design, begin with subjects grouped on the basis of pre-existing dependent variables. And test hypothesis concerning possible independent variables. Yeah, it means that re uh, pro. Uh, 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 what is that? What do we call it? Uh, the independent variables is beca begun uh, with subject group. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let's go to the next. Example of exposed factor design. Okay, these are the topic example of exposed factor design. The first, what is the effect of daycare on the social skills of children? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have two variables here. The first is the effect of daycare. Yeah, daycare. And then the second one is social skill of children. Which one do you think the independent variable between the effect of daycare on the social skills of children? Which one? Okay, the independent variable is daycare, yeah? The effect of daycare and the dependent is social skills of children because social skills of children are affected by the daycare. And this topic does not require any manipulation or intervention. And then the second, what is the relationship between participation in extracurricular activities and self-concept? Which one do you think the independent variables? Yeah, the independent variables is extracurricular activities, then dependent variable is self-concept. Because self-concept is affected by extracurricular activities. Once more, this topic does not require any, uh, uh, what is that, manipulation or intervention. Okay, now let's go discuss characteristic of exposed facto design. There may be both treatment and control groups however this will be existing not assigned by the researchers yeah the second there is no manipulation of condition okay the similarity between a facto and experimental lay down on the more than one groups yeah more than one groups analyzed yeah if you think that uh, exposed facto design is similar with descriptive research yeah it's similar to descriptive research but in descriptive research does not requires more than one group or two groups but in exposed facto we need more than one groups for what to know the difference yeah between one group and others yeah the relation between uh, independent variable and dependent variable in descriptive research we do not need to know about the correlation between independent and dependent but in exposed facto we need to know the correlation between independent and dependent variable okay okay we have macmillan tips causal comparative studies should be used to investigate relationships when an experiment is not possible, the causal condition must have occurred in the past. Potential extraneous variables should be identified and noted. Differences in groups should be controlled. Causal relationships should be noted with caution. Okay, this is Macmillan tips. If you want to use a causal comparative studies or ex post facto research, if we cannot conduct an experimental research okay okay
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the conclusion draw today is the first one. Ex post factor research and experimental research has a similarity in the form of the use of group, yeah. The use of group, yeah. Jadi antara ex post factor research dan experimental research ada persamaan. Tetapi yang membedakan antara ex post facto research dengan experimental research terletak pada manipulasi dan tidak. Oke, okay. ladies and gentlemen, I think that's all for today. Thank you so much. See you next time. See you next time. Thank you.